if you're suffering from premenopause or menopause symptoms, from stubborn weight gain, from fatigue, from sleep problems, from low sex drive, from mood swings, so women are going to the doctor and getting estrogen and progesterone and you know getting treated for their low estrogen and progesterone levels thinking that that's what caused their premenopause and menopause symptoms. Don, what would you say is the biggest health concern for women today? Well, you know, I, what what I honestly think is that women have so many different health concerns. The problem is that they're really confused about what they are. They don't know how to approach, you know, the, the and, and they're going to doctors, they're, you know, seeking out, they're standing in the health food store looking at walls of vitamins and they're just confused and they don't know what to do. We really have sort of one universal problem. What's happening is that problem the effects of that problem is getting broken up into all kinds of different symptoms. Weight gain, fatigue, hot flashes, night sweats. There's 35 different symptoms associated with premenopause and menopause. And then all this, this, these different um, uh, problems that women are having, they get categorized and then each one of them gets treated as a symptom. That there's really one primary major cause And then what flows from that major cause is all of these different symptoms. So if you know and you understand what that cause is, by fixing that problem, then the downstream consequences of that are you're going to be able to deal effectively with each and every one of those symptoms. Okay. And that's so, for women of all ages, whether that's you're for 27 women, uh, or 55. Doesn't or? make any difference if okay. you're if you're six years old or <laughs> 96, right? It's the same for all. All right. And it doesn't. And, and we're talking about women here, but it's we're really talking about human beings. Now we can systematically begin to remove these burdens off of the person. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back, right? We're gonna start taking this burden off. And as you remove that burden, what happens is you simultaneously, you're removing the cause of the problem. It's the complete load of stress. As you start taking more and more of it off, what happens? Guess what happens? All these symptoms that were manifested because of it begin to retreat. So you're really, you're not treating symptoms. You're creating a circumstance and an environment where you're removing the cause of the problem and you're creating greater and greater levels of health and you're basically rising above the symptoms. When you know what the cause of a problem is, and you know the steps to take, don't you think that you can say, all right, if you do those things, then the outcome is inevitable. You can create an inevitable outcome. If I, if I say to you, look, you have to walk from where we are right now, five miles down the road. First thing I need to know is, are you willing to do that? And if you say, yes, I'm willing to do that, then what I say is, look, put one foot after the next until you make it to the five miles. And if you'll do that, you'll get there. It's inevitable, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a dominant burden by definition is anything that overstimulates and spikes the primary hormones of metabolism that initiate and start the process of breakdown. Does that make sense? You're starting right at the beginning. So what do I mean by that? This is something that I talk about extensively. I wrote it in my upcoming book. It's all over our website. I talk about, it's called the big hormone talk. Think about this, Cassie. When, when a woman is under stress, something physiologically has to occur in order for the breakdown to happen. Because stress for one person is not stress for another. But the over accumulation of stress on any human being will get to a breaking point. It doesn't matter who it is. And what I'm saying is if you're suffering from premenopause or menopause symptoms, from stubborn weight gain, from fatigue, from sleep problems, from low sex drive, from mood swings, 
this is your body telling you, giving you the message that the burden of stress that I'm under, I'm not handling it. So, back again. If you just take that burden, start understand how to remove the burden, then you can start the healing process. So the first step, you've got to understand that what the stress does, the only way you feel the stress, or the only way it becomes a problem, is if you do something to your primary hormones that control the life-sustaining aspect of your metabolism. Does that make sense? That's what the big hormone talk is. So women are going to the doctor and getting estrogen and progesterone and you know getting treated for their low estrogen and progesterone levels thinking that that's what caused their premenopause and menopause symptoms. Let me ask you a question. What is premenopause and menopause? Premenopause is the gradual decline and fluctuation in a woman's hormonal system leading up to menopause which is the decline of those hormones to the point where she's no longer capable of having a, a menstrual cycle. Now, in, now, and once you have 12 consecutive months of no menstrual cycle, what you have then, it, that's what the definition of menopause. So all that whole process is from premenopause to menopause is what? The gradual decline of estrogen and progesterone. Cassie, that's what's supposed to happen. Why are we giving hormones when they're supposed to be falling? <laughs> Did you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now let's go back to what we are talking about. If that stockpile of stress started, let's say even when you were a little girl, and you've been stimulating and uh, spiking those big hormones, which leads to the problem over and over again, and you don't even know how you're doing it. Believe me, most women are completely unaware of how they are doing this. If you've done that your whole life, by the time you reach premenopause or menopause age, you are totally ill-equipped and unprepared when those hormones actually start to fall. Does that make sense? Yeah. A healthy woman that makes it to premenopause or menopause is going to have no problem or very little problem cruising right through that transition because her entire hormonal system is operational, functional, and balanced. It's when that system is dysfunctional and damaged and they make it to premenopause and menopause, they don't have anything to prop them up, those hormones start to fall and then the, now it's on. All kinds of symptoms emerge. But believe me, they were having problems long before these premenopause and menopause symptoms emerge. But when they reach that age and those other hormones, which were basically sustaining them, propping them up, at least giving them some semblance of, of the quality of life, when those start to fall, now can you see? So if we correct that, initial problem there's a cascade a domino effect that occurs and that's why it, that's what the inevitability protocol is really all about here's what it is there's four aspects to it number one